Now let's come to the second part of the fourth video. We will set up the NCA model and check the D value, P value, and the accuracy. This is a structural model. We go to calculate. We use the POS SEM analysis. Here we can see that the latent variables are already here, but we need to create another one. We uncheck this one and we name it NCA. We create the data. The file has already been created. Go back to the main, we save it. Now this is the NCA data set. You can see the latent variable scores are already extracted. The NCA analysis will be based on these latent variable scores. We go back. Now we need to create an NCA model. Call it NCA. Save. Select the data. Now we need to create the NCA model. Remember that each NCA can only have one dependent variable. We In this structural model, we have two dependent variables. One is adoption and tension. The other is technology use. We should run them separately. Here, let's make the first model. We, put, we drag all the, the independent variables here. This is our first NCA model. Now the model is ready. We need to calculate. First of all, let's use the NCA function to calculate the D value. Remember that we have different ceiling lines. Let's see which ceiling line we should choose. The data here, they are all kind of discrete. Remember, the CEFDH ceiling line is recommended for the discrete data. We can see that the observations near the ceiling lines is quite irregular. So we would recommend here we use the CFDH line. The accuracy, of course, is by definition 100%. And then the effect size is, we have three of them that is over 0.1, the threshold. And then this one is not a necessary condition. So we have the accuracy, we have the effect size, we still need the p-value. For the p-value, we go back to the main page and we go to the NCA permutation. We need to set this into 10,000. Smart PLS is quite fast. See, we already have it. Then we go to here. All the p-value here is quite good. They are all below 0 0.05. So for now, we have all the parameters that we need for the NCA analysis. We can now go to the part three, report and interpretation.